sure a lot of you good folks have seen these mason jar chandeliers on the internet and possibly on television. So why don't you just stick around and I'll show you how to make one for yourself. called a limited tools project mainly meaning I'm probably going to use tools that most of you guys already have at home that way maybe you guys can feel comfortable doing this yourself um, I will be making two small chandeliers this won't the will not be the one that will be going into the dining room the one for the dining room we will probably be building that one after this because it's, it's going to be a lot more involved. I will be using the full arsenal of the shop to make that guy. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that we're going to need to make this guy do this. Isn't that cool? So obviously, you'll need a mason jar. However many mason jars you want. These chandeliers we're going to make today are going to take three mason jars per chandelier. All right, so there, there's one item. All right, then you'll need to go to your home improvement center and get you a package of these nuts here. You'll also need to pick up at the home improvement center the threaded rods here. Uh, they come in different sizes. Well, they come with a package with different sizes, so you might want to watch out for that. We'll, cut, we'll go into more of that later. Basically, these are just threaded rods and they're hollow in the middle. And then you'll also want to get um, a keyless socket. And I would also go ahead and go over to the electrical department and pick up a package of these stake arms for terminating the wire to the socket. Also, while you're over in the electrical department, you might want to get um, what they call lamp cord. They have, uh, they come in 16 and 18 gauge wire. I'm, I would go with more like an 18 gauge. That's just me. You know, and you can get that roll of wire. You can get a 250 foot roll of wire, I think for around 40 bucks, which will be way more than what you'll need. Um, we'll talk about later on about maybe figuring out the footage that you would need to make all this work. But another thing you could do is, if you're like me, you have a bunch of these guys laying around in the house that you probably don't even use anymore. And this is just an extension cord, is all it is. And you could actually take these extension cords and cut these ends off here and utilize them to wire up your light fixture. Okay, so now you already have all your um, your nuts and your threaded rod, which you'll find that over in the electrical department as well. They're, they're usually over there where all the light fixtures are at. They're on the end cap, and basically it's kind of where all the lamp repair parts are at. So that's where you'll find that stuff. And once you get all that in the electrical department, you just go over to the... Um, where the lumber's at and just pick whatever kind of lumber you want for the actual, what I'm gonna call the medallion or the, the housing or whatever, where, where the electrical connections all happen and all your your mason jars hang from. Um, that pretty much covers that. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get this lid ready to be painted, all right? So let's do that. Okay. Right off the bat, we want to go ahead and find the center of this lid and mark it. See here, I'm looking at right at three and a quarter, so three and a half, three and an eighth. And then turn it 90 degrees and mark three and an eighth again. So basically that's my crosshair. Okay, then I'm gonna take a punch and put it right on the center there and give it a good tap. There you go. What that's gonna do is give me a good, uh, good starting point for my drill. I would go ahead and take all the lid that you're gonna need, stack them on top of each other like that. Take that same punch, 
Put it right in the spot, in the same spot where that first hole is and give a good tap for all three of them. There you go. Now you have a center mark on all three of your lids here. Okay, now go ahead and take that lid you have here and go ahead and put it together, put it on your jar. This is for safety reasons. You don't want to try to drill through this like this. You could potentially cut your finger. So please don't do that. And then I have a 3 8 drill bit, and all I'm gonna do is just go into that hole and just let the drill do this job. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily put these parts together here. Start off with a nut. Thread it on there probably about halfway. Then take this guy and Get them going through your hole here, like that. And go ahead and take your keyless socket for right now. And go ahead and thread that guy in there, probably about like that. You know, you don't really want to go, I'm not going to go too far in like that. I would just stop right short of that lip right there. And then just put this down all the way flush like that and then take your nut and tighten it up this is just temporary and i'll show you why here in a little bit we're just trying to get this guy ready for paint and then simply you'll just set that on top there set it on on a on a piece of board or something you want to paint and just go away with it now you know it all boils down to how you want to do it um, this is actually for the medallion part of it if I haven't mentioned that already but one thing you do need to keep in mind is you, you really want to kind of watch your thickness of your material or your medallion simply because I figured most of you guys would probably want to utilize the outlet box that's already there you know uh, I'm going to work my or try my best to make that happen uh, without having to do any kind of major modifications in the ceiling. So, with that being said, you know, you're going to have, you'll need one of these guys. Uh, there's probably one already installed holding the light fixture you want to change out. Now, out of that package of threaded rods, uh, you want to take that, the longest one of, of the, um, of the group and pretty much make sure that you're going to have a clearance to attach your new light fixture to your ceiling utilizing your existing outlet box okay um, for the first one we're going to do i am just using basically what i just have laying around the shop um, i have some leftover what they call select pine it's a it's a much better, more premium pine lumber that you can get at your home improvement center. If you don't know what that's at, you're going to find all that over there by the specialty boards. Uh, you don't have to go with pine. You, if you want to go to, to your home improvement center, you can get, they have red oak, they have poplar, you know, just go there and take a look. So this right here, I believe this is a, see, it should be, yeah, this is just a one and a half by one and a half here. We're going to use that, and I've had some leftover, which is also select pine. Uh, I want to say it's a 12. Yep, what they call a one by 12, and um, that's what we're going to do with it. Again, completely up to your imagination. 
Um, the second one we're going to do is going to be entirely different, so we'll get into that when we get to that point. So uh, I'm going to reposition the camera so you can get a pretty good close-up on your layouts. Okay, you guys can see that I've already got my lines already laid out. Now, before we get into this, this is also completely up to your imagination. Um, you can lay everything out however you want, you know. So basically what I've done is I found the center of our board and drew me a line right down the center using a square, a square like this. Actually, I used a combination of square. I don't know where that's at right now, but it's a little bit longer. So we have our, we have our line down the center this way. And then I decided I want to make this 21 inches, okay? So I measured over for 21 inches, set my square up and drew me a line. All right, and I marked the board here to let me know that this is this is scrap, trash, however you want to put it. Okay, and then I measured, then actually I went this way, keeping in mind that it's 21 inches, found the center coming this way, and drew me a line down here. All right, now that crosshair right there, that center point is where your mounting hardware is going to be for your new light fixture, for your new chandelier, all right? Now, with that being said, I originally thought that I was just gonna just line up three lights in line like this, but that's gonna be a problem because I go to put this middle one, try to put this middle one in, my mounting hardware is gonna be in the way. So, I changed it up. I believe I went with Looks like I only look, looks like I only made one mark. Okay, so what I did was I decided I'm just going to do like a triangle. Go here, here, and here. Okay. Now, basically, I found the center between here and here, which is comes out to be two two and three quarter. Okay. So you have that first mark, so that means you'll come over here, two and three quarter, and then you'll come over here, two and three quarter. Okay, so now I have my layout for where the chandel or the uh, the mason jars actually drop the wiring for it. I have my mark for the mounting, and I have my mark for the scrap, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my miter saw. You can certainly use a miter box for this. Well, I take that back. The miter box is gonna be a little bit too big for this, or too small, rather. So, anyways, um, we'll cut, we'll set my miter saw, cut this guy off, and then we'll take a drill, and inch drill bit which is going to be plenty big enough for this threaded rod to go in okay and then I'm also going to stay with the three inch drill bit too it was my layout for my actual lamps uh, simply because of the cable that I'm going to use or the wire that I'm going to use to wire this together but really all you need is just to make sure that your hole is big enough for your lamp cord to go through whatever lamp cord you're trying to trying to use. Um, a quarter inch might be just fine, you know. That way your hole's not too big, but this three eighth is gonna do plenty good enough for what I have going on here. So
all done. Now really is to see, man, this, this, again, this is really up to your imagination, you know. You're needing to, uh, well, we need to go ahead and cut the pieces that's going to go, that's going to attach to the, the, the face of it. Um, you can do what they call a butt joint, you know, where they, uh, let's see here. You can actually butt them together, you know, like that. Or you can cut 45s on it, have 45 degree miters, what they call miters on it. Um, you know, like I said, it's really up to your imagination. So I think for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and just do butt joint um, simply because it'll be easier and quicker to do. So I'll show you how to do okay, all that. Okay, so we got our face side and what we're going to do, we're going to measure, should be 21 inches, okay? So we're going to cut two pieces at 21 inches for here and here and then we want to measure here which is uh, 11 and a quarter now when you take that measurement 11 and a quarter you need to keep in mind the thickness of these pieces here we're using an inch and a half so inch and a half times two is actually three inches so you can subtract three inches from him and that's going to give you what eight eight and a quarter yep eight and a quarter so you're going to cut two pieces at 21 inches which is the length of this and then two pieces at eight and a quarter, which is going to go inside. All right, and that gives you your actual housing or your medallion. Okay, before we start attaching all these uh, little side pieces we just got through cutting, I'm going to go ahead and pre drill with a countersunk bit basically what that is it's just tapered here around the edges here to attach this to the, the, the face to the, the side pieces and I'm just going to use these nice looking uh, these brass looking tapered or self tapping wood screws here you know again I'm going to probably say it a few more times before this is all over with it's all up to the imagination on how you want to do this you, I'm just going to just screw these straight to it uh, you could actually take your your pocket hole jig and, and and put some pocket holes in it. That way you can get it on there and you not see any screw holes or anything. Um, so let's listen. done here is just pretty much basic stuff here I went ahead and just pre-drilled all my holes for the layout to get a good spacing to connect all the boards I maintained a 30 quarter inch let me, let me rephrase that I went three quarters of an inch inside all the way around that way that I ensure that I catch the center of the uh, the side pieces here and just drill the screws all the way through now what I really need to do now is just take like a sponge and a wet rag or either a wet sponge or a wet rag and clean off all the glue. So. All we've done up to this point now is just basically just put, put a, um, a coat of stain on the medallion and um, I took it outside and did a little bit of spray lacquer on it. And let it sit and dry. I'll probably hit this thing one more time with some spray lacquer. Uh, and then 
you know, this part will be pretty much done. What we're going to do next, well, actually, before we move on to the next part, why don't you guys just go ahead and just take a break, go get some coffee or whatever. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and make this two a two-part series. It's just because there's still a lot more that I want to cover. Um, but to speed things up, all I'm going to do basically with the second medallion is uh, take some of this old fish picket that I had laid around. I'm going to use it up and whatever I have left, which I don't have very much left anymore, I'm just going to throw away. I just need to get it out of the shop. So basically we're just going to upcycle this uh, fish picket and make a probably a more rustic, more appealing medallion on the second one. And we're just going to zip right through it. It's going to uh, basically be the same setup as this, but have a little bit more design to it. So stick around.